Okay, I'm gonna show you how to use the converse of the Pythagorean theorem. And that's when you're trying to decide if something is a right triangle or not, and maybe they don't have a little, little box up in the corner that looks like it's a right triangle. Use the Pythagorean theorem and plug in the numbers that you would know. This looks like it would be the right triangle and it's opposite the square root of 113. So I'm gonna replace the C with the square root of 113 and then put the square down. The A, I'm gonna use the smallest number here, which is seven squared plus eight squared. All right, the square cancels the square root out and we've got 113 here. And then four, um, seven squared is 49 plus 18 squared is 64. And if we add these two together, let's see, we get 13, 10, uh, 11, 113. 113 does equal 113. So yes, this is a right triangle. Um, the Pythagorean theorem work. Now this is not a Pythagorean triple because that radical sign in that 113, we talked about the Pythagorean triples in the last video. All right, this is not a Pythagorean triple either, but this looks like it's the right angle on the hypotenuse. So let's put this here and it will be squared equals 15 squared plus 36 squared. Okay, now this square is gonna affect the four four squared will be 16, and then it affects the square root of 95, which will be the square counts on the square root out. I'll have 16 times 95. 15 squared is 225. I don't know 36 squared, so I'm gonna have to go find it. 36 squared is 1,296, okay? Let's go to the left side. 16 times 95 is 1,520. Let's see if it equals, question mark here, um, 225 added to 1296, which is 1521. It does not equal, uh, the left side does not equal the right side, so I will have to say that this is not a right triangle.